made it to the Sheraton Gateway Hotel. This is where Strategicon is being held. I have a fabulous view of the parking lot and whatever this side street is off Century Boulevard. Greater Los Angeles area that way. Uh, pretty nice rooms. Good amenities it looks like. I'll check the Wi-Fi later. I don't have my laptop so this is not going to be live. However, that's the contents of the trunk that I had to drag all the way up here by myself because uh, their valet service was full right now with the myriad of gamers that are checking in. Have a look at the closet. Yeah, not bad. Um, anyway, this is where I'll be very late at night tonight. But right now, let's go downstairs have a look at the convention. Okay, I had to go outside because gamers freaking reek. But, let's go inside and have a look. Friday night. This is the miniatures gaming area. Looking for some blood balls. I'm gonna go to the dealer room, see what they got. This is the board game area, so I'll be running Super Dungeon Explorer here at some point. Alright, it's 3 a.m. Ran some Super Dungeon Explorer and played some Malifaux. It's Friday night. Uh, yeah. Exhausted, my friends. But it was well worth it. Had a lot of fun playing this game and playing some Malifaux. Um, yeah. So, met some cool people. Hopefully, we're going to get a decent turnout for the tournament tomorrow. And that's it. Um, sorry I wasn't able to shoot any of the Super Dungeon Explorer uh, video, but I bet if you go to the Strategicon site when it's updated, you'll probably have lots of photos of that. Um, drew a pretty big crowd. People were asking for more demos. Unfortunately, my schedule is too full to do anything like that. Um, obviously, I would love to run more of it. Or maybe even just uh, give it to some folks that know how to play it and let them kind of run wild with it. Uh, for tomorrow, here's my terrain in a trunk, tournament in a trunk, if you will. Um, use some of the terrain tonight for some Malifaux. Definitely we'll be using all of it for the tournament. So I'll shoot, uh, when we get the table set tomorrow morning, uh, I'll shoot some video of the table so you guys can see that. Uh, and that's about it. So thanks for joining me for the first night. I, li I literally left the flip right there. The entire time. The entire time. And shot nothing of the tournament. Outstanding. Thumbs up. You got something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do have a game going. End of round three over And the end of round three. <laughs> yeah, Dennis. I beat the I beat Dennis with the 18. How about that? I like to beat Dennis. Um, so yeah, yeah, fun tournament. If I'm shooting into this melee, does this guy count because he's linked to her? 
Is he an extra card? Okay. He's another card. Let's do it. We're shooting into the melee. So we're yeah. going to three cards for him, one for her, and one for him. The lowest card is the one who gets hit. So for Teddy, and the red joker. Yeah, they're upstairs. My girl's got a 13, and your guy's got a 2. So it's Teddy. Here's an interesting question. <clears throat> Let's say Teddy was your model, and the rule says you may choose the red jokers. Yeah. Could you choose the red joker and force a miss? I would have to think so. I don't know. I will ask our rules marshal the next time I see him. Okay. So you're shot. This is going to hurt. Um, I now have to make a hit roll. And just shoot a little bit more of the of these surroundings. War Machine Tournament. Okay. Shot about three minutes. Oh my god, I missed it all. Look at that. I missed it. Failure on my part to shoot any of this. But let's look. Like a Civil War game. Bummer, looks like I missed more cool stuff there. I missed everything. Oh wait, I can shoot that hordes looking thing. It also blocks my sight. That's an awesome looking. My titans do not need fuel. And we're back. Yeah, got back uh, <clears throat> late afternoon today, and am completely exhausted. Uh, Jake and I uh, ran demos, uh, Malifo Puppet Wars demos, um, right after the tournament and like late into the night, um, and things got a little, a little weird late at night running the the demos. Um, just wanted to thank Jake for uh, coming out with me, hanging out, uh, accepting a double bro hug from a guy that pissed himself. Uh, some drunk guy that uh, poor Jake had to run a demo for. Meanwhile, I'm running a demo for uh, a really, you know, sweet lady and teaching her puppet wars. Uh, you know, sometimes that's just the way it happens. Uh, one of us ends up with a weird demo and the other one ends up with a pretty good one. Um, couple of shout outs real quick wanted to say thank you to Robin and the crew over at Strategicon for helping us out um, you know help uh, just letting us know where we're set up um, being gracious hosts uh, they were awesome also wanted to shout out to the guys over at plus 10 to awesome um, met the guys at the tourney uh, I'm sorry met them Friday night at their Malifaux event played with them um, spectacular guys these guys are uh, uh, doing a lot of different gaming, um, they they actually put me on their podcast, so that should be coming out soon. And uh, wanted to give a shout out to them before their YouTube channel is up. So when when it's up, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna just point you guys over there, uh, check them out. They they do a lot of different gaming, including Malifaux. So they're gonna be another great channel to watch. Now. As far as the tournament was concerned, it um, was really cool. Mostly new players. Um, was won by a, uh, a, a basic uh, new player as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and he walked away with that painted Lucius crew that you guys saw a few videos back. Uh, so I'm short one Lucius crew now, but very happy about that result. Um, short a Lucius crew. Second place was the... Uh, uh, painted Alt Lady J from uh, another few videos back from there, uh, and then also uh, the one of the ladies won a uh, Puppet Wars Teddy uh, from for participating in the demo. So I'm short a few models, which is okay. But let me show you what I'm uh, what I gained 
uh, in addition to you know new friends, uh, better contacts, just stronger, stronger uh, connection with the YouTube community. Um, let me show you these real quick. Um, these are these are like weird fantasy <clears throat> mushrooms from a guy called that calls himself Mr. Dandy. Now, Mr. Dandy does uh, resin casting, um, and he does, like, uh, terrain, uh, he does basing, he does, uh, uh, he does, like, specialty models, busts, really cool stuff. Um, the reason why these are leaning is that they're actually, they've got a little bit of a peg on the bottom of them so that they can go into bases. I got two sets of these, um, and... Let's see, maybe I might have to do this. Yeah, there you go. Now you can actually see some of the detail on them. Um, and they're really cool. Really cool. Uh, we we were looking at his stuff before. It turns out he's a local guy. I mean, he's pretty local to us. And I had uh, I had quite a few conversations with him over the weekend uh, suggesting, you know, the kinds of stuff that, that we might be looking for for Malifaux. This is one of them. I mean, if you're going to build a... Uh, like a weird Lilith, uh, or maybe even a Zerata board. Um, the the these giant fungi would be really interesting. So I picked up uh, two sets of those, <clears throat> and I'll probably be adding a different Zuzzy mat specifically for a Neverborn board. Um, some of the other things I picked up uh, these counters, uh, which were awesome. Uh, I wish I had the the name of the guy. Uh, on me, but um, got some counters. These are we're going to use these as our SoCal Malifo, uh Soulstone fragments for now. So Soulstone fragment is something that uh, I invented for SoCal Malifo events. Folks that pre-register for events are going to get these, and um, they can use them during the tournament uh, tournaments to uh, reflip initiative or strategy. Um, it's going to be a one-time use, and so we're going to keep these. Um, and hand them out to the folks that do uh, pre-register for events. <clears throat> also got uh, these action point tokens, which are just really nice um, from the same the same vendor. Um, one thing that uh, one of the guys in our group, Matt, really pushes is uh, teaching people how to manage their AP or how to understand uh, actions and taking actions in Malifaux using beads, and so. Uh, uh, Matt was it's a really sharp really smooth system and and it helps people learn the game uh, especially with things like uh, Zero actions melee expert casting expert and that kind of thing it can get really confusing as far as how many Actions can a model actually do so we're going to be using uh, some of these action point um, Tokens for our demos uh, So I got some Jake got some uh, And then I got some just kind of various other types of tokens, a uh, couple of companion tokens, um, this is, this could be like a black blood, I've got some poison in here, slow, so those were cool. The last thing I got was actually kind of wild, I got a board game that I just had to check out, and let me show this to you, TV Wars. Uh, yeah, I'm quitting Malifaux to play TV Wars. This, the just the the cover of the box here is just epic. Uh, it's an Avalon Hill game. We we cracked this thing open late at night Saturday, a few of us, and just read through. Uh, not, we didn't read through. We just looked at the counters and stuff. Uh, we were too tired to actually read through. It was hysterical, and I mean, I I, I don't want to talk about the images. That we're seeing here. Here, we might have to do this. See if you can, you know, talk about the images <laughs> that are on the cover of this thing. It's it's really. Um, I, I I won't comment. I will just let you sort of infer what you like. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I saw it and it was really weird. Um, and it, it looked interesting enough for me to uh, to play uh, or maybe even just have a good laugh. So it was already worth the very uh, the few bucks that I spent on it. Um, so yeah, that's that's it for the uh, Strategicon 
uh, visit. Um, like I said, wanted to thank a, a number of people, uh, mainly Jake for just uh, uh, coming out and, and helping us run everything and uh, like I said, accepting the, the double bro hug probably, you know, he had to take one for the team there. It was a really weird situation. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I'm completely exhausted. Um, I, I get to rest tomorrow, but then uh, the next day I'm back on a plane to San Antonio. Going to meet up with some folks out there, play some Malifo in San Antonio, come back, um, and yeah, so no rest for me, really. But uh, just wanted to say thanks, guys, and we'll catch you next time.